No, you see, it may be how people understand it. Everybody has his own view. And everybody has his own understanding to interpret whatever anybody said. Um, to my own understanding, Biafran Defense Force are not going for, for retaliation or going to attack Nigerian army. Although Nigerian army are the vendors, they are the aggressors. But to, to my own understanding, Biafra, resistance, Biafra Defense Force are going to defend the land and defend the people, not to attack. They will go, they will go and secure the place so that more kidnapping, more missing of people, or killing of people not take place again. And if there's any way, they will look for that 300 people that are missing to get them, whether they're dead body or whether they're alive, whether they're alive, they will do it. That is why they are called defense force, not attacking force. So they will deploy in Abia to defend the entire land of Abia states. That's my own understanding. Mm. But in the process of defending, mm. if you come to my house, pursue me, come to my area, pursue me, I run, I enter my house, and you push me to enter my house. Mm. I have nothing to, to do with you than to engage you. Yeah. But in that engagement, one may survive, one may lose. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what will happen there. If their fan defense force go to the defend the people, they will never fold their hand, arms mm. so that people will not call them bad names mm. and allow the aggressors mm. to continue attacking, kidnapping people and killing them. They will say, ah, it's enough, enough is enough. Why? Stop it. They will say so. They will say so. Mm. And uh, someone Epa, Saying that they will, he will, they will soon see their fan defense force. Yes, he will say so. Yes, he can send them because they are under his command. And he knows why he created them. He created them to go and defend. And this such sort a of type of thing happen, and they are not defense, they are not defending. Which means someone like creating them is a waste. And someone like I don't know what he's doing again. This is why you have to send them. And remember, since the incident, that ugly incident in Aba, in Abia State, so many indigenous or people residing in Aba have been missing. This is part of the Gorilla War that Nigerian chief, Nigerian Am, chief of army staff or defense headquarters have said they will engage their friends in guerrilla warfare. This type of guerrilla warfare they are engaging now. Not they are entering bush to engage their defense force. But they will go now. They are guerrilla warfare. Now guerrilla warfare. Kidnapping guerrilla warfare. Silent people guerrilla warfare. Who are the people? Innocent souls. Innocent civilians don't know anything. Who do not participate? Whatever that happened in Naba. On target of this last month. This type of guerrilla warfare, they say they will fight. So do not be surprised. It's not a surprise to someone or whosoever, both Nigeria and Biafra. It's not a surprise to have Because it seems that Nigerian army or armed forces are talking to do. They will talk, they will do. And remember that Nigerian army have said that they will retaliate in a brutal way for killing their men. This is part of it. So it's not a surprise. Look at it. Creating a new state is a monopoly of destruction. It's a monopoly of scattering the ideas of Prime Minister Simon Ekman of the government in exile. 
you know, our prime minister have already different, different prime minister have already created 40 states of Biafra, which all the states these people are trying to hijack now have only created in 40 states of United states of Biafra. In land of Biafra. Now, and they have seen that the Biafra is reality. Biafra is autopilot. Biafra is unstoppable. And the man who is piloting the affairs of Biafra now is more calculated man. God bless with wisdom and understanding. As he blessed Nam de Carlo with wisdom and understanding. That is why, in absence of Nam de Carlo, someone ever will. We are able to wear his shoe and the feet and the feet someone ever well well that was someone that can act in a way and i'm the guy was supposed to be to be mm. that's what someone ever was able to establish mm. listen offices mm. all part of europe and all part of the world mm. that was someone ever was able to create different government in exile and they have good cabinets that are working with him that's why he was able to create 40 states of the United States of Biafra. And they see that some of have already succeeded by grace of God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, Chuko Kiki Abiyama of Biafra. Now, they want to distract someone like that. They want, they want to duplicate or photocopy or imitating what some money have already done. To create a new state, some people have already created in, in Biafra and want to turn it to Nigeria. They want to turn it to Nigeria. And remember, this Olo state in the present Imo state of Nigeria, Olo state is known as Olo Senatorial Zone. And this, in this Olo Senatorial Zone of this present Imo state of Nigeria was well, the last point. The last shooting between Biafra, between Biafra and uh, Nigeria in the first Biafra war. And uh, the most toughest place now, one of the most toughest places now in uh, Biafra land is the same Olo. And now they have seen that Olo has become a thumb in their flesh. They want to take control of Olo. Therefore, they want to hijack the state someone ever has created in the name of Nigeria. So that they will impose Flani government of Nigeria held by Ashwaji Tulumbu to the governor. They will approve that governor to be governor of Olo state. So that they can be able to have monopoly of Olo state. The remaining Imo state of Nigeria. Uh, Flamengo government approved the governor. Um, those of them can be able to have full monopoly of the remaining state of Imo state, so that they make sure this hottest place in the upper land they take hold of it. In the pretense that uh, South East supposed to have the same equal space with other geopolitical regions. Now they remember that South East are cheated because Biafra is at hand. Now they remember and forget the time they promised told them that South East needs one more state to complete its sisters according to other other political geopolitical zone East East and I, I think that should be in a Babangida or Abacha. Babangida or Abacha confirm. Then the then former police inspector general, I think, uh, Sambo, Sambo, said no. Okay, South East don't need any state anymore. What they need is people settlement. They should act as of people settlement. All into Biafra land in Enugu State, destroying the farm crops with cutlass, which air in the net. The new object and pushing the shadow of objects. Nigerian people 
Nigerian government leave the object they're supposed to pursue, pursue the shadow of the object. How can you think it can be the object? You cannot get it. So they should leave Biafran alone. Let Biafran solve their own problem by themselves. We don't want you. They're still forcing them to be with you. If you marry a wife and the wife will discover the condition of marriage is not good, it will lead to, to her death and say, I want to live, I don't want to die. By doing what? Divorcing you. Is it a force? Is it a force? You have been marrying their friends, sleeping with them as you like, day and night, from, fr from front to from back. You are sleeping with them. They say, No, I'm tired. That your romance is enough. Leave me alone. I have one more children for you. Leave me alone. I don't want to die in pregnancy. You still want Biafra to die in pregnancy. It's impossible. It cannot be. God will save Biafra in Jesus' name. So it should not stand. Creation of another state. So it should not stand. It should um, not stand. Our every promise I have said no. All the world Biafra stand and say no. But, but don't forget that as part of the first reading. As part of the first reading in uh, National Assembly. First reading? Yeah. Second reading? And they are serious about it. Third reading? Mm. They will be serious about it so mm. that they can hold monopoly uh. of Biafra. Mm. They can hold us. That's the old word. They mm. can pass it. Mm. Okay. What mm. nation? What not? Mm. 2014 mm. National Cap uh, 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 mm. uh, Conference mm. was by the other regime. Why can't they uphold it? Uh. Why can't they pass first reading and second reading and third reading and the last reading? Mm. Why can't it pass? Why can't Aguri accord? Pass mm. first reading, second reading and the last reading. Why mm. can't it pass? But this one will be passed. So that they take it to do divide and rule in Biafra. That divide and rule. Mm. To cause confusion among the Biafrans in their land. They can pass it. My father told me that he do not say mm. a woman mm. should not talk. That woman has right to talk. But where he stands, mm. that thing that that woman said will mm. never come to be. Mm. So they have right to pass their bill, pass their everything. Even though they, they like, if they like, let them create a uh, uh, mm. state in Jaffa land or Ojuju state in Jaffa land. Hundred um, Abian people have been captured by the Nigerian army as regards the five killing of the five um, military men in the southeast. And then we've seen um, Alex Oti um, going to the 144 um, battalion um, um, uh, area command in um, Abia State. Too. They say he's going to plead for the release of um, of, of the no, people that, yeah, of the, that have been captured. But do you not think, as the number one man in Abia State, do you not think he should be ordering um, the release of the of those people that have been captured? Or do you think he should just... Um, it should just say low low or I don't know how to just it's all begging. She, she did not just you know go down and authoritatively tell them to you know to release those people. You know, uh, Nigeria is a different place because a governor of any state or federative is at least legally chief commander of the armed forces, chief security officer of that federative or state. Mm. That is how federalism is you know, structured. Mm. A governor has no, uh, uh, you know, and is, is, is not below anybody in his state. In his federative, mm. he is number one. A governor has no option like that to go and, uh, and say, let me beg. A commandant or GOC or I AIG is because here is Nigeria. And let me tell you, if you are a governor in Nigeria, it depends on your person. If you're a radical governor, a governor that knows what you are doing, you don't need to beg a police or IG. You bet you have your squad in the police formation, you have your clique, even in the barracks of your state, you must at least mingle with the GOC. He must be a good friend. So that in time of trouble like this, you will have upper hand over the military. Because this time around, Nigerian colonel, Nigerian military are believing that uh, a major general or general is equivalent to the president and the colonel is equivalent, is bigger than governor in rank in the military hierarchy. See, let me tell you, it is not like that in advanced states. In America, the military should be in the barracks. They have no business coming outside. 
and you must follow the, the constitution of the United States of America. Soldiers have no business with civilians outside the barracks. Why must Nigerian soldiers go to people that are mourning their loved ones? They captured over 300 uh, Abians. I don't believe that report, but you know, say so they must be fueling all this news so that there will be sentiment all over the places. So it was daily post? No, it's a just deliberate. Uh, they are just posting it. Daily post? Uh, ju yes. They are just posting it. It doesn't mean 300 Abians by now. Mm. It's not possible. 300 Abians, that's war. Mm. Because I know that state. Hmm. They are more worrying than any other part of Igbo land. Hmm. Abians are not cowards. Hmm. People from Abia, they are not cowards. I'm still repeating it. Hmm. If Nigerian military or soldiers from Obins or anywhere hmm. in Abia state arrested or, ca or captured 300 Abia indigents, hmm. there will be war in Abia state. They would have released them under 24 hours. Because I know the type of people Abias are. Don't forget that Abia State is where Nandekano hails from. He hails from Abia Ruku, Abia Ruku community in Omoaya, Abia State. So it is not possible. You can't at least uh, sell this kind of news to the members of the public that Nigerian military soldier captured three Abians, arrested 300 civilians, youths, boys in Abia State. There will be one now. That barracks will not remain. No, it is not true. It's just to, mm. anyway, to sell his contents. If you ask, daily post, daily post. Daily post. Okay. Yeah, daily post. Nine. So it's not, it's not, it's not confirmed. Okay, it's not that authentic. It's not confirmed. It's not a confirmed uh, 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 news. Mm. There are some news that are confirmed. There are mm. some that are not confirmed. Mm. So I've not seen element of truth in that. All I know is that youths were arrested, but not up to the tune of three hundred. Hmm. If you slaughter 300 youths or detain them, hmm. I think the whole world will come against you. Hmm. I think the whole Igbo will march towards that axis. Hmm. Let the whole military arrest the whole Igbo. Hmm. The whole Igbo would have at least been interested hmm. in that issue, on hmm. that issue. Hmm. See, let me tell you, the matter, the, 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 the fact here is that hmm. Nigerian soldiers think that they are almighty God. Hmm. That nobody but Nigerian soldiers They've not known that they are human beings, they have blood. Mm. Yes, they shouldn't be at least seeing themselves as gods. Nobody supported the killings. But not to the rate of arresting 300 Abia indigenous. It's a mm. lie. Mm. That report has can never be mm. true. I'm telling you. Mm. I think uh, most of the things we are hearing today uh, is based on propaganda. Immediately, uh, 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 there was killing in uh, the soldiers who are killed. I think the government made some uh, movement. You know, he was able to uh, meet the military hierarchy in that state. He was able to communicate very well uh, to the presidency. And, uh, and uh, we have seen the military uh, come out to say anybody that is saying that is on his own. There is not a prisoner. There is no plan to attack anybody in Abia state. And from what I'm hearing, that story is a lie. Nothing like that happened in Abia state. No 300 people were murdered by the Nigerian military. Anybody that's telling you that.